Hey guys, it's Renee. So today I thought I'd share with you an easy way to make a Christmas tree cake. It's actually really easy to make and this is coming from someone that is not a professional or an expert at all. So I'm going to be working with three six inch cakes and I'm using cake mix and a cupcake. I'm going to be placing my cake and then some like buttercream with a lot of food coloring. I do have the uh, recipe of my buttercream. It's pretty simple, just two ingredients or three if you want smoother. Placing my frosting, focusing on like the middle part. I'm not wasting any product on like the edges. Then I'm stacking the second cake on top, doing the same thing because I'm going to cut the edges anyways. So the least buttercream that the edges have the better and then i'm going to be placing my third cake on top then goes cupcake on top with some buttercream in it i'm going to be placing some uh like wooden sticks i placed three of them in the middle just so the whole thing didn't like fall apart to give the center some stability i'm going to be using a serrated knife and i'm going to be working on the shape of the tree pretty much following a shape of a tree like a triangle but not really, but that kind of shape. Mine turned out to be a bit wonky from like some sides, but it's okay because we're gonna be decorating it. I ended up with some like leftover, but it's okay, we ate it. Or you can just turn them into cake pops. I'm going to be making like the crumb coat. If your cake is like too crumbly and just it looks like it's just to fall apart, I do have like, like a tip video showing you how I do this when my cake is just to fall apart just in case because sometimes those things happen not all cakes are just like super stable sometimes you just work with recipes that are like flagger than others but yeah, i'm just going to be covering the cake and i'm just going to store it on the fridge overnight now to decorate it i'm going to be using this wilton 21 piping tip covering the whole cake and the thing that i do or that i did is like my dominant hand is like the right one so i'm just holding the piping back with my dominant hand when with my non-dominant hand which is the left one i'm just holding the piping to just kind of like guided to where I want my stars or my details to be and when I have like the place I just squeeze the buttercream with my right hand because it's cold because it's winter time my buttercream was like hard in the beginning to squeeze the piping back but just as you start working with the buttercream uh, with your hand that is moving the heat of your hand just kind of like softens the buttercream as you go hopefully this makes some sense at all if you have never um, decorated a cake like this it's pretty easy once you get the hang of it but also what i did here is just work on the back of it or just like the ugly side of the cake you know the side of the cake that is going to be like on the back or on a piece of paper you know napkin whatever you have just until you have like the hang of it and don't worry if it's not perfect because i don't think christmas trees are like supposed to be perfect but mine isn't perfect at all i made a lot of mistakes but like the end result looks really cute i think this is what i did on top and once i'm done i'm going to be adding some like uh, snow simulating snow with some like white sprinkles and i'm just going to be placing them all around the edge then here comes the fun part i'm going to be using some sprinkles small colorful sprinkles and then later on i added some like big sprinkles like silver ones and colorful ones and i think this is a part where kids are going to love joining because it's like the messy part we're just going to throw the sprinkles at my cake hoping they would just land in a good spot pretty much and i feel like this is a good time where you can have like your family or just like your kids helping just pretty much all having a good time and just decorating cake throwing sprinkles on the cake to me this was like so much fun to make it was kind of like a stress relief in a way to just throw those sprinkles because the holidays can be quite stressful i'm just sharing with you the basics if you have like bigger christmas decorations edible ones just go ahead and throw that in there it's going to look fine i think but yeah just decorate it however you want I'm doing the same thing all around my cake i'm going to be adding a star on top you can make this out of fondant if you prefer i ran out of fondant so i'm just going to be doing a foamy paper star using a yellow foamy paper a cookie cutter star tracing that then cutting it on the back i'm going to be taping my toothpick and yeah, I'm just going to be placing that on top. But yeah, guys, this is pretty much the cake that I wanted to share with you. It's really easy to make, actually. So much fun to make, especially with those uh, sprinkles. And I really hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Check out more baking stuff that I have on my channel. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think of this one and share this. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you later and take care. Bye. Oh no, this is a pretty part. Mm. This is just great.